doesn't work very well, does it? I've got some attention grabbers that I use with children that you're going to love. One of my favorite ones is Tootsie Roll Lollipop. We've been talking, now let's stop. Let me do that with you. Tootsie Roll Lollipop. We've been talking, now let's stop. Let's do it together. Tootsie Roll Lollipop. We've been talking, now let's stop. And you just to continue to do that until children are all doing it with you and paying attention. Another one that works really well is Hocus Pocus. Boys and girls, whenever I go, Hocus Pocus, I want you to put your focus goggles on and go, everybody focus. Here we go. Hocus Pocus. Everybody focus. Now keep your focus goggles on. Look at the front of this book. What do you think this story is about? Or look at this shape. What can you tell me about the number of sides this shape has? If you can get children to put their focus goggles on, you've got a better chance of them paying attention. The brain's pretty amazing. If you say to the brain, pay attention, this is important, it probably will. Here's another song I like to sing to get children's hands in their lap. Give me a clap. 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 Give me a snap. Give me a snap. Now fold your hands and put them down into your lap. Another thing that you can do is get the label off a can of applesauce, glue it to a piece of paper, put it on a stick, and you, when you want the children to sit crisscross applesauce, you hold this up. This is actually reading. This is visual literacy. They read pictures before they read words. Another song, instead of put your hands in your lap, that you can sing goes to head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and lap, knees, and lap. Head, shoulders, knees, and lap, knees, and lap. Legs are crisscross applesauce. And my hands are in my lap, lap, lap. When children come in from playtime, they're often a little wound up. And so to help them find their seat on the floor and get ready for the next activity, you can sing. Everybody have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Everybody have a seat on the floor. Not on the ceiling, not on the door. Everybody have a seat on the floor. Isn't that better than sit down and be quiet and listen to me? One uh, attention grabber that I learned in an inner city school in Atlanta went like this. When the teacher wanted the children to focus attention, she would say, how does my teacher feel about me? And the children would look at her and go, I'm as special as special can be because my teacher believes in me. Isn't that a positive reaffirmation? I'll try it again. How does my teacher feel about me? I'm as special as special can be because my teacher believes in me. Now, I've showed you several different attention grabbers. I must caution you not to use all of them in one day. Choose one like Tootsie Roll Lollipop and use it every day for a month. And then choose another one like Hocus Pocus and use it every day for a month. These are what we call indicator activities for the brain. If you just use one, then when the brain hears you say that, then it will pay attention. You'll also notice that I use hand gestures with these little attention grabbers because hand gestures help the brain focus. A lot of teachers are using callbacks now to help gain children's attention. One of my favorite ones, I can have a gym full of a couple hundred kids and I'll go, hands on top, and the children respond, everybody stop. Let's try that. Hands on top, everybody stop. 
Another one, macaroni and cheese. And the children respond, freeze, please. Macaroni and cheese, freeze, please. And you see, when you do these things, you are developing the executive function at the same time. You're helping children get that self-control and self-regulation. Marco Polo, peanut butter and jelly, spaghetti and meatballs, all of those are callbacks that you can do with your students. Mm -hmm.